Hi everyone, thanks for dropping in to watch part 7 and part 8. I've put them both together because they're a little bit short otherwise on their own. Um, so today these episodes are mainly going to be road building to be honest. Um, rather just say it now the way. So if you want to skip or even know what's the video, you've got that option at the beginning to know what it's all about. So yeah, we're going to show you well, a bit more road building today. Uh, get a bit of shape for the farm ready when we start putting buildings down and productions uh, yeah so on this little bit I don't know whether you've noticed yourself there's like some little texture changes when you're putting the roads down or the little bits of path um, I'll slow it up in a minute and I'll show you might make a bit more sense then and if you notice when you're using the bigger size tool it like overlaps on the grass, you don't exactly get rid of all the grass. So yeah, when you go to a smaller tool. So yeah, now you can see the slight edge is different. It looks like it's worn. Which I thought was quite neat. It looks quite cool. So yeah, all my edges, I'll try and get something similar to that, all the way round, so the path looks a bit worn, rather than new all the time. So I'll try and repeat this on all my roads, or paths, whatever you want to call them. It can be a long old process, because it's really small sometimes, but yeah, it's worth it in the end for the look. Don't know what you guys think, same again, just let me know in the comments if you've noticed it before when you're actually doing paths and stuff, or roads um, you have different textures I think it's because I'm using asphalt onto grass, it leaves that sort of texture like if the asphalt is cracked and it's going to the edge of the grass which looks quite good Yeah, so this bit will just uh, fly through this little bit as quick as I can. I will probably come back because it will drive me bonkers because it's not straight and there's little bits here, there and everywhere. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look and just carry on as we're going at the minute. I can see it from here, so yeah, that's going to drive me bonkers that is. I'll go back to that later. Right, so I don't know if you can notice on the grass, guys, you can see the tracks of the tractor. show you a little trick now um, you've probably done it or seen it before but uh, yeah so all you got to do is just literally drive your tractor on a fresh bit of grass sort of where you want the door or the path leading to the door let's, let's save it by earth just to be on the safe side as normal with any builds so you probably know this, in build mode you can go a little bit higher so you can actually see the tyre marks so now when you go into build mode and you want to do a road you can semi get a nice shape going on there to sort of follow it in if you can keep your hand straight because I cannot keep my hand straight for the life of me but yeah, if you've got a steady hand you can get a better shape than that but yeah, I will change it, but yeah, let's just give you an idea again, guys. Um, just drive your track it over, and then follow it with your road. If it suits it, you know. And then obviously you can change it to your vehicles, the size of the road you want to use. But there you've got a little bit of basic shape, that's all I'm saying. Might make it a little bit easier for when you're building and stuff, doing your own thing. Hope that little trick might help you out. So all I'm going to do now is just continue this road all the way up get a little bit of shape again um, so yeah it's just going to be mainly rolled by it again now same as normal I'll skip it as fast as I can without missing too much at least you can see what area I'm in and what I'm doing but I will try and skip it and same again I don't know if you can see the little change in textures on the edges of the grass you see little light bits here there and everywhere 
the same again, you can see it on our little bit of road there look. on the left hand side just a little bit lighter than everything else so yeah, another little thing, I don't know if I've shown you this building before, I've mentioned it before but yeah, there's no messing around looking for light switches or nothing like that just go in, obviously I'm on PlayStation so I'll just press R3 the lights come on there's no fiddling around looking for switches or anything I think that's brilliant in these buildings now and yeah, even a little bits of decoration on the side so yeah, we got, what's that? 5 million storage and our another production which is going to be for silage once we start cutting the field which hopefully will be the next episode we'll start cutting that and we'll hopefully get some sheep in as well start them going hopefully fingers crossed we should though um, so like I said 7 and 8 which is going to be these this video it's going to be mainly just roads to be honest same again as your normal, save it if you're happy before you go any further um, but yeah so it'll be 9 and 10 hopefully on 9 we can get them sheep in but yeah we'll definitely start cutting this grass rather than build over it and waste it um, it's free after all so why not take advantage of it um, why not me? Eh? It's free, take advantage. Start your animals off early. So like the song just said, it's like a dream. Um, yeah, I've been naughty and added something again off camera. Um, yeah, a fuel tank and uh, a weighing station and a little water fountain. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in a few seconds in part eight. Thanks for coming back or sticking with me for this long. Uh, the end of the last episode yes I've added this little weighing station it's quite cool actually something different, put a little car park in um, yeah nice little feature here as well which I really liked no practical use apart from yeah, just a visual thing but yeah the scales work well I think they work. There's numbers on it anyway. So yeah. A little bit childish of me, but yeah. I did like that little feature. Something different. Um, but yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen that. So yeah. I'll show you where we own. So yeah. This is what we need to cut. And this field, well. This plot here. We're going to cut everything on there, maybe make two fields on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to save you here quickly and just carry on with the road. Get out of the way, and then hopefully, next episode, we can cut this grass. Uh, we'll probably bale some, and then we'll keep some loose, hopefully, for our um, first production. Start making some silage. Um, so, we've got two choices with silage. We can either sell it. Um, if it's not a BGA on a map, we can obviously place our own now as well. Same again, there's lots of mods out there now. Um, and there's quite a few BGAs actually. So yeah, it's spoiled for choice for them as well now. There is a modular BGA as well. Which is all in different sections, which is quite cool. We'll look into that as well. Um, but yeah, since obviously these videos I've made, or recorded I should say which is nearly a month ago now sorry to everyone for taking so long um, family and work and everything else in life unfortunately so yeah hopefully I'll get this one out get the next ones out as quick as I can um, yeah just sorry for everyone for taking so long to get them out it's 
just fitting in busy schedules um, so I'll probably come back to this now and finish that little bit of what's going to do my head in make me go bonkers so I'll just straighten out and make the path a little bit wider so you don't have to use the silo dumps to drive over up and down with your tractors you probably have a path next to them to be honest rather than going up and down up and down on them bump 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 when there's no need to just go round them So um, yeah, just leave some comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, we'll save it by here again. Yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, what direction we still want to go? Do we want to do some massive dairy farms? Because um, there's, there's, I think there's a, a shed out there now. I think it holds 490 cows. Um, so we could have two of them. Um, yeah. So that'd be a big production section. Um, plenty of milk, plenty of slurry, plenty of manure, especially with that many cows. Um, and yeah, there's loads of productions out there now to make TMR. So that makes the process a little bit easier for us. Um, definitely be looking into them. Um, yeah. See if we can get some um, green ages down as well. Maybe do something like that. Um, definitely want a couple more sheep. Sheep band, sorry. <laughs> sheep. Um, but yeah, maybe one or two more. Um, maybe go into dairy. Get some cattle on the go. Um, leave a suggestion, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, we could go just fully production, make all the materials and sell all that. Um, but yeah, for me a farm, yeah, I always got to have caves. Um, pigs are not too bothered about because all they really do is reproduce. So what you're going to do off them really is uh, reproduce more pigs, to be honest. Um, we could probably do that and just sell the pigs. But then it takes a lot of food to feed them pigs they are really greedy they eat a lot so yeah I think we're coming along slowly a little shortcut so this area I think looks ok now I don't think I'll be doing much more in this area um, same again unless any other decoration has dropped and I fancy the look of them um, so yeah the packing area is basically done um, parks in gonna have a portal though um, so yeah got a little picnic area kids play area some flowers make it look nice up over the fence don't have you know it's just open them gates and shut them crazy open the other ones and shut them ones bonkers so yeah gonna have solar panels in Got storage for hay, or grass, I should say. Make some bales and we chuck some in there, I think. Uh, start this spinnery going. We've got the car park in there ready for when we own a little bit more land around by here as well. Uh, we'll chuck some cars in there. Uh, once we own a bit more land, we'll have a little bit more room here, do a little bit of decorating as well. Give this a little bit of room. It's at the moment, as far as we can go. Uh, yeah, hopefully tie these roads all in together as well. The drive up don't look too bad. Same again guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'll probably wrap it up here now. Um, oh yeah, yeah, forgot about that. I think the recycling centre. All the visitors don't do rubbish. It's quite cool actually. Nice little features on it. Some of the stickers you can actually read a little bit, or at least work out what goes in them. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you think, guys. Definitely leave some comments. Um, but thanks. Bye.